Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. By reading this book, you will discover the fundamental differences in behavior between men and women. Why do marriages so often end in divorce? Gender-specific vocabulary. How to defuse situations of misunderstanding. How to improve your romantic relationships. How to convey your messages effectively. That men and women have different motivations. Imagine that, from a psychological point of view, men come from Mars and women from Venus. Bored among their peers on their respective planets, they decide one day to find themselves on Earth altogether. Everything goes wonderfully well at first, but little by little the situation deteriorates. The Martians and Venusians can no longer communicate in harmony. Their natural habits take over and are a mutual mystery. Each soon blames the other. However, it is very easy to remedy this, provided you have the keys to understanding your partner. Are you ready to make peace with each other? About the book. Warning, cult book but divisive. While some will consider it sexist and stereotyped, others will find the secrets of better communication as a couple. For my part, I let myself be carried away by the author and I found his words very relevant and very accurate. For example, I particularly liked the explanations he gives about women's mood changes, which I found difficult to understand before. Whether you are a man or a woman, you will find in this book tips to better communicate with your partner and especially better understand his behaviors. I highly recommend it to everyone, because this book is less superficial than it may seem at first glance. Men come from Mars. Imagine that humans come from Mars. No longer think of them simply as humans in the broadest sense, but as native to this planet, with their specific habits and ways of reacting. How do they live and act? They are tough and strong. Accustomed to trials, they can show neither their doubts nor their weaknesses. Sometimes they also do not express their feelings for fear of appearing weak and thus losing the esteem of their peers. The competition between them is fierce because only the results count. When one of them loses the battle or finds himself in difficulty, he goes to take refuge in his corner to think, find a solution, and heal his wounds. They like to be alone, sometimes for quite long periods, to recharge their batteries. On the other hand, they like to wear uniforms because it is a symbol of competence. They don't talk about anything. When they do, their language is precise and factual, picking up as much useful information as possible. Men, called Martians, never spontaneously offer their help, because this would insult the skills of their interlocutors. They always try to fend for themselves, if possible. On the other hand, if someone asks them for advice, Martians are flattered and quick to help. They try to quickly find the best possible solutions. Martians hate problems they can't solve. This lowers their self-esteem and afflicts them. When someone talks to them about a problem, they can't help but think about practical solutions. This is because they love to overcome difficulties. They like to know that they can face any situation and get away with flying colors, ingenuity, and perseverance. They like what increases their abilities. For example, they like to own powerful cars or smart gadgets. In summary, coming from Mars is not easy, because you must always be strong and effective. Women come from Venus. The atmosphere on Venus is much calmer than on Mars. How do women live? On Venus, love is the golden rule. No one should feel excluded or rejected. It is not a question of competition, but the contrary of mutual aid, respect, and protection. The emotions and feelings of each are listened to carefully, analyzed in detail, commented endlessly. Indeed, it is by the word that women, the Venusians, measure their agreement with others. They confide in each other to get better. Often, they listen to the problems of others because it helps them to relativize theirs. Thus, they do not hesitate to ask for help and advice. Indeed, they feel flattered if someone wants to help them and are grateful when someone does something difficult for them. In return, they do not hesitate to sacrifice themselves for others if necessary. Moreover, their personal needs often take second place to those of others. They like to have different opinions and welcome diversity. For example, 
They love to dress originally, with many pleasant colors. The quality of their relationships is fundamental to them. The closer they feel to someone, the more they live in harmony with themselves and are proud of who they are. In short, on Venus, listening and harmony are essential values. The main source of conflicts between Martians and Venusians. If the Martians and the Venusians have a lot in common, the differences in their respective ancient ways of life on their planets are felt. What for? Expecting a Martian to react like a Venusian, or vice versa, is a fundamental mistake. Thus, forgetting the differences between the two sexes is the main source of conflict between them. What for? Each thinks he is in his right since he expects the other to react in the way and force on his planet. For example, when a woman needs help, she waits for the man to offer it spontaneously. But asking for help is an affront. If he loves her, he must realize it on his own. Thus, in a couple, what is expected by one is often misunderstood by the other. Indeed, if something seems natural to the Venusian, she will not understand why the Martian does not react in the right way. She will therefore be upset and irritated and vice versa. By force, each will think that the problem comes from the other. Their union may then break down, like 50% of marriages, and this is only because they have not understood the essential differences in behavior between men and women. In conclusion, the next time you are disappointed by your partner's behavior, do not get upset. Instead, try to understand his reasoning according to his own Martian or Venusian habits. If you are a man, avoid counseling women. When talking to women, men often make communication mistakes. Among these, one stands out for its frequency and the negative effects it causes. What is it? Men too often advise women. You now know that Martians hate to ask for help, try to fend for themselves, seek advice from an individual they consider competent if they cannot do otherwise. Therefore, they make a mistake when a woman, and especially their partner, start talking to them about her problems. Indeed, they can't help but feel like an expert. They, therefore, want to give them advice or even explain what they think is the best possible solution. Like what? If she says to him, I'm so tired, he will reply, you should go and rest a little. If she says to him, I can't stand my colleague, he replies, you could go to her for a frank discussion. If she says, I'll never make it, he will say, but yes, you just have to be more focused. By acting as they would with other Martians, men believe they are providing effective help and do not understand why women get upset. But they get angry because they don't offer them the understanding and listening they need. So keep the secret in mind. When a woman tells you about her problems, never give advice. Just be loving and listening. Like what? If she says to you, I'm so tired, answer her instead. My poor darling, have you had a grueling day? If she says to you, I can't stand my colleague, answer her instead. How dare she bother you? If she says to you, I'll never make it. Answer her instead. I'm sure I do. I believe in you. Take advantage of the situation to make her understand that you are on her side and that you support her. You will observe a dramatic difference in his behavior. It may even be that his problem disappears as if by magic. Indeed, when a woman feels supported, she becomes much stronger. She will immediately get much better, thanks to your loving support. Ultimately, for a woman, Listening and understanding are more useful than good advice. If you are a woman, avoid criticizing a man. Men are not the only ones who make mistakes. Women also make a very common mistake that robs men very quickly. What is it? Women too often criticize men, especially their partners, in an indirect way. On Venus, this behavior is perfectly normal because by criticizing, a woman can improve the situation, that is to say, the behavior of the man. This is a fundamental mistake. Indeed, men want to be loved for who they are and have no desire to change because someone wants to. This behavior is difficult for Venusian women to understand because they like to help even without solicitation. This makes them feel appreciated and loved. By highlighting the points to improve, she thinks she is in good faith by wanting to help her companion. 
She does not realize that he feels personally targeted and that he is bracing. Like what? If she says to him, we never go out, the man will understand that he is responsible for it. If she tells him she is lucky to have had flowers, the man will understand that he does not offer her flowers often enough. If she tells him you should check the GPS, the man will understand that she doubts his orientation abilities. Therefore, if you are a woman, instead of criticizing the situation, ask the man directly what you want. Like what? Instead of saying, we never go out, say, I'd like to go out tonight. Instead of saying, the groceries are in the car, ask, will you take the groceries out of the car please? Instead of saying, the car is dirty, ask, will you wash the car nicely? Be careful, always use the verb want rather than the verb power. Men want to feel free to do what is asked of them. For example, do you want to pick up the leaves from the garden? Is much better than can you pick up the leaves from the garden? He can do it, but does he want to? Try for a week, you'll notice the difference. In short, spare your companion's susceptibility by avoiding criticism and respecting his autonomy when it comes to making decisions. Decipher the behavior of men and women under stress. One of the biggest differences between men and women is how they react to stress. In addition, it is a source of frequent and painful misunderstandings. What for? In the face of stress, the two sexes adopt opposing behaviors. Like what? Men isolate themselves and or become distant. Women go through permanent emotional ups and downs. Since they have a different ways of reacting to stress, it hurts the other person and leads to misunderstandings. What needs to be done to remedy this? Martians facing stress. When a man isolates himself, spends all his time with his friends, plays sports, or plays video games, his wife does not understand why he voluntarily isolates himself for no apparent reason. When she sees that he is not well, she spontaneously offers him her help and asks him to express how he feels. Unfortunately, when he does not feel well, man has no desire to speak, to be in his company, to express why he is not doing well. The Venusian Women Facing Stress When a woman feels stressed, she has the impression that nothing is going well in her relationship or in her life. Her companion does not understand why, since nothing has changed about the situation and she was perfectly happy a few hours before. He then tries to understand how he did wrong. It highlights a bunch of problems, with too much detail and no apparent logic, which is hard for a Martian to bear. When a woman is in this trough, that is she feels bad emotionally, she needs receiving love rather than giving it. Feel supported and supported. She will soon come back to you as loving as before, even if you might believe otherwise. All in all, in either case, learn to be more passive without trying to improve the situation or offer the help you would have liked to receive. This is not necessarily what the other person needs. Men and women do not use the same vocabulary to express the same thing. It seems that words have a generic meaning shared objectively by all, but in reality, it is not. How is that possible? Women and men use the same words to say different things. Like what? A man says it's okay or it's nothing even though he feels bad. A woman says we never go out to say I want to go out with you tonight. In either case, therefore, what is said should not be taken literally. We must not feel criticized, but rather try to understand the information or emotion behind the words. For example, when a man hears we never go out, he must not get upset because he understands you are too much homebody. He must not answer we already went out last week. He just has to understand that his wife wants to go out. He must remember that she expects love and spontaneity. When a woman hears it's okay, even though it is obvious that this is not the case, she must not hear I ignore you because I am no longer interested in you. She should not answer, I can see that things are not going well. You can talk to me, tell me what worries you. Generally speaking, Understanding a man's language is simpler. He usually says what he thinks, except when he tries to convey information without being too direct so as not to hurt the person. 
Women, on the other hand, hide the message they want to convey because they expect the reaction to come directly from men. In conclusion, do not take what you are told literally. Learn to read between the lines. Men and women are not motivated in the same way. Everyone would like their partner to share their enthusiasm and feel the same excitement as they do for their projects. Often, this is not the case. So how can you motivate your partner? First of all, it must be understood that men and women have different basic needs. Make a man feel proud of himself and a woman feel loved and appreciated. You will then get what you want much more easily. Conclusion Men and women share a lot, but specific differences in behavior sometimes make communication very difficult. You are not alike. Respect these differences without expecting the other person to react like you. Avoid judgment and criticism. On the contrary, ask for what you need in the right way. This is how Martians and Venusians will finally be able to live in true harmony. What to remember from this book? Men come from Mars. They are direct, logical, efficient, and seek to surpass themselves. Women come from Venus. They are loving and understanding and seek to help and improve things. Know and respect gender differences without feeling frustrated. Men and women do not use the same vocabulary. Stay tuned to the emotions expressed by women and the information delivered by men. Reassure a woman, show her that you love her with many daily proofs of love. Make sure that your man always has a good image of himself 